what's good? What's popping? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix on the road, and yeah, we out here moving another load. You already know the deal, man. Listen, I'm in North Platte, Nebraska. I'm on my way to Denver, Colorado, so you already know it's a pretty much straight shot. Cruise over there at 80 West, break off 76, ride that straight to Denver, you did. But that is not the point of this video. What I wanted to talk about was covering yourself, covering your tracks, or the legendary term CYA. You guys know the acronym, I don't need to say what it is. This stems from a story, something that recently happened to a friend of mine or an associate, whatever you want to call him. Give me a second, I'm gonna move it through this. Um, but basically, he had a load stolen and a trailer and he lost his job because of it. Now, let me tell y'all what happened. Dude wanted to go home, wanted to go see his kid. I'm not mad at you for that. One of the things that I always told this guy was that you either need to drop your trailer at a drop yard, which is, you know, we do have one at this company. We have a yard over in Houston where he lives at. You need to drop the trailer at a drop yard or at the very least get a kingpin lock and an air cuff lock or something like that because someone's going to take it. Eventually it will happen. But of course, you know, some people think that they have things under control when they really don't. Anybody out here can get got one way or another. But anyway, essentially what he would do is he would go home, he would drop his trailer on the side of the road in front of some other business or whatever that had a camera facing it and he would just bobtail the truck to the house. You don't move that way. You just don't do that. When I go home, it's two things I do. I could drop this trailer in Dallas, where we have another yard, and then bobtail 170 miles to my house, which I do more often than not. Or if I do take the trailer home, I have a secure parking space at a storage facility, it's gated off, got security, all that. I literally pay like $60 a month. Well, scratch that, I don't. My father does and I just use a spot. Needless to say, we have that option. That's something that you need to do. You can't just be out here being a sitting duck. I never understood why Landstar had that policy not saying I'm at Landstar, it's just an observation I'm making. I never understood why Landstar had that policy where it's like, if you even get caught looking like a sitting duck, you essentially lose your job. Now I get it, because stuff like that can happen. You leave a loaded, this is a flatbed trailer on top of that. So you leave a loaded flatbed in an area, a hood area at that in a zone where there's a bunch of construction going on and you think somebody ain't watching bro come on you gotta do better see listen driving a truck can be very lucrative depending on what your goals are okay does it look like i wasn't in the lane they just be freaking out for no reason driving a truck can be very lucrative for what it is you're trying to do, depending on what that man may not be. I don't know what your goals are. I don't know what your aspirations are. You know, whether you're just trying to save up a certain amount or if you have debt that you're trying to get out of. I don't know what you're going through. I don't. But this is an industry that you do not ever, ever, under any circumstances, roll the dice in. You do not gamble with this. You don't gamble with your life. You don't gamble with security. You don't gamble with none of that stuff. Because that incident right there, you had a whole trailer and a load stolen. That's going on your DAC report. You will not, I, I don't know how long it'll be, but you ain't getting another job anytime soon. Not in this industry. It's not gonna happen. Now, 
unless you find some sketchy company somewhere that had to take you on with that. But hey, then you really gotta watch your bets. You don't know what they got going on. You dig? What goes through the heads of some of these people? The frustrating thing is, I told this cat numerous times things he needs to do to prevent this from happening. You don't listen, you played stupid games, you win stupid prizes. I'm not doing this video to beat up on you because I know you're going to see this. I'm not beating up on you, but I am using you as a proxy to teach the people. This is something that people can learn from. Don't be a sitting duck. Cover your behind. The drop yard is like, what, 15, 20 minutes away from where you live? Why weren't you dropping the trailer there? Because it's out of the way. Do you understand how stupid that actually sounds? This cat was making good money on top of that. That's the thing. We always talk about it, man. You know, I, I ain't trying to do nothing to mess up with money and all the other stuff. You know, I'm seeing $2,500 a little week. Y'all know the spill. Now look. All because you made one lazy decision and gambled. You rolled the dice. You broke the cardinal rule. You rolled the dice. You don't do that. I don't think you people understand just how serious the implications for one small mistake can be. With this company, he was leased on with the same company that I am. And what they told him was, you could keep your job if you can cut us a check for the entire amount of the load and the trailer. If you can do that, you can keep your job. Well, I ain't got the money. Well, then you are unemployed. I don't know what to tell you. You screwed yourself. Well, because you won, you wouldn't listen. Two, you decided to be lazy for what? The drop yard is right there. Rookies, I'm telling you guys right now, don't drop your trailer just anywhere and go off and do whatever. Because something like that can happen and it'll screw you for years. That one bad decision can screw you over for years to come. You do not want to deal with that. You don't. It's unfair to your family if you have one. It's, like I said, this guy has a child. It's unfair to her. Because now, dad got to figure out another way to provide because you made a lazy decision in an attempt to go see her. Which, like I said, I ain't mad at the dude. You want to see your daughter, you love your kid. I, that is very obvious. I respect that 100%. But you also need to be able to protect your ability to provide for said kid. You have to. In the moment, I guess things seem fine. Got away with it for, you know, a good, what? We've been doing this almost two years now. He came in when I did, I'm 19 months in, so we've been doing this together 19 months. And it finally caught up to you. It was bound to happen. And I'll warn you time and time again. Now I will warn anybody, anyone who's new to this, don't play games about your money. Do not do anything to compromise your ability to provide. Don't compromise your ability to pay your bills. Don't compromise your check. And with that move right there, all you did was compromise your check. There's nothing else I can say. When he called me freaking out about it, it was like, yo, um, I don't know what to tell you. I'm honestly about to just about to lose your job. It's gonna go on your deck report. It will. And like I said, I'm not talking about this to beat up on my homeboy. No, that's never the intention. My intention is that some rookie out there will hear this and maybe think twice before you decide to make that same stupid decision. Find secure parking. If your company got a drop yard in your area, drop the load, drop the trailer over there, I tell to your crew. Or do what I do, park it at a storage unit in a, a secure location, gate it off with secure all that. I get a lot of flack for some of the quote unquote bougie things that I do, but I've never had anything stolen from me. I've had my truck vandalized, but I've never had it, you know, anything 
anything stolen off of it. I've never had a load stolen. So far, hopefully it never happens. You gotta think twice, do better. That's pretty much all I had to say about that. Now I'm gonna continue on this road. I got another 256 miles to go to get to Denver. This load is late, not my fault. Uh, my last load couldn't drop off until 10 p.m. but yesterday so I dropped that picked this one up it was due about an hour ago but you know there's nothing I could do about it mathematically it just wasn't gonna work out so I'm gonna continue doing this and see what happens in the future now as I always tell you guys be happy stay blessed not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision that you ever made. It really, really might. I'm Gold Phoenix, and I'm out.